Obviously, Flexcom represents a great deal for the merchant, a terrific deal for the customer, and a fantastic deal for the GTM. But there is one question remaining. That question is, where does all of that money come from? So let's take a look at that. Let's take a look at how the commissions are generated. Here's an example. If the merchant offers a customer a 5% discount, what's really going on is that the merchant also pays Flexcom a like amount, or in this case, 5%. That's the agreement that the merchant makes with Flexcom when they come on board. So in reality, a 5% discount on a retail transaction of $100 really looks like this. The merchant's giving a 10% discount total, or $10 off of a $100 purchase, five of which goes to the customer in the form of five flex dollars, and five of which stays with Flexcom. The way that's distributed is this. Of the $5 that Flexcom keeps, 40% of it, or $2 out of the five, stays with Flexcom to run the operation, pay the corporate uh, expenses and profits, and so forth. 60% of that $5, or $3, is paid out to the field in the form of commissions. With the commissions broken up like this, the retail merchant, whoever gave that, um, that uh, QR code to the customer in the first place, he's entitled to 20% of that three dollars so he earns 60 cents on this transaction the signing gtm whoever it was that signed that merchant up is also making the same thing 20 percent or 60 cents out of the three dollars the compensation plan gets 51 percent or a dollar 53 that goes to paying all the upline commissions bonuses carpools things of that nature the regional manager gets 5% or $0.15 cents out of the uh, $3 in commission. The state manager gets 2%, and the country manager gets the same 2%. So that's a total of $3 in commissions paid out of the $5 that Flexcom retains out of the $10 discount the merchant would be giving if he gave a customer a 5% discount. So now you know, that's where all that money comes from. This is Bill Richards. See you next time.